Hello everyone, GG here and welcome back to another video. So we have updates on the Mines of Moria Raid Chapter 4 and we're gonna be uh, reading through it. So if you're ready, let's take a closer look. So we have the news and let's see what we get here. So greeting ring bearers, coming to the Lord of the Rings Blood Home is the final chapter of the Mines of Moria Raid. Chapter 4 awaits you. A shadow and, and a flame is anticipated to arrive in mid to late October. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Let's see what would we have. We would maybe have anywhere from the 21st to the 25th is what I would say. But w w who knows? Um... I think it will be will be before the last weekend of October, so yeah. On the brink of capture, our heroes find themselves confused as the orcs hastily sprint back into the darkness of the mines. What would cause them to disengage from battle despite being so close to victory? Suddenly, it becomes clear. From the depth of the darkness emerges the Balrog, an ancient creature of immense power and terror. His fierce malevolent whip crackles uh, as our heroes stand in awe and despair. How will our heroes handle the searing flames from this beast as they burn through their defenses? Ah, uh, so this burn could either be burn damage that you have to heal through, or it could be a dot that reduces defense, like it could be a condition, so to say. Are our heroes prepared for the creeping shout that blinds their attacks, shrouding the Balrog from harm? So there should be a blind mechanic in there, so we need cleanse. That's actually something we do need. We need something that can cleanse. Fear not, ring bearers, for Lord Balin of Moria will heed the call. The visitors from A Shadow Timelines has the eagle eye vision to pierce through the shadows through the shadow and challenge this indomitable foe, bringing together dwarves and elves in an unlikely alliance. Lord Balin will cleanse his what? Of danger and protect the halls of Casa Doom. What can you expect from facing down the uh, feared door in Spain? Where can you find information that will spark inspiration for your squads? Stay tuned for our deep dive article uh, coming shortly. Okay, so I'm imagining this week. For the details, read through this. So let me first start off by saying my brain works. My Gondor Ranger squad is gonna nail this. There, I'm not saying it's the best, but it's definitely gonna work. So, yay! As Sheldon Cooper would say, my brain is better than everybody's! Sorry if that was loud. But anyways, so there's gonna be burn. And the burn is... Um, could be a dot tick that we need to heal through, so you need heal on the team. Uh, maybe also reduce some defense. We don't know. But you need cleansing, so again, there's some Road to Rivendell here with some uh, passive cleansing, I believe. Are our heroes prepared to uh, 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 Creeping Shout that blind? So we need, again, cleanse, we need heal, and we need cleanse. Or immunity. Gondor squad can't be affected when they are immune, so there's also something there. So I, I'm very curious what I will do. I still think my Gondor Ranger squad, which we will take a look at very shortly, and I will explain why it is good overall. Like, I built it for all four chapters, and I feel very vindicated reading this, that I know it will actually probably do well um, again. So you need Eagle Eye, and in the game there's actually currently only five characters that can do Eagle Eye, and we're gonna take a look at them. Uh, we're actually gonna go to light. Here we go. We're gonna go right to the bottom. Gandalf the Grey can give you Eagle Eye. He can give Eagle Eye, but you, nobody has him, so let's not focus on him. Balin can give Eagle Eye, but he is... We know three stars aren't the best, so there's something there. And then let's go find him. Where have we him? Boromir, Eagle Eye as well. I believe it is um, here. Grand Eagle Eye. So Faramir can gain Eagle Eye for one turn through this. That's basically it. what he has. But now we're going to be getting to um, something that's actually very, very interesting. I'm going to show you why it's so good. Miri here. She can also give Eagle Eye. Grand Eagle Eye to one random uh, ranger ally for one turn. And you can ignore damage. So I think this will be really good when you are in a transition phase. Oh, and you do bleed. Um, 
uh, you do have to the target needs to have a bane to gain eagle eye but that is okay and now I want to show you something um, the second last bit about why this is gonna be great obviously I do need to um, have this one at level uh, 5 or actually I don't need this one what I need is the passive when a ranger allies gain stealth heal self and grant eagle eye so uh, Faramir has a lot of way to gain stealth, honestly, and um, he's the one we're going to be taking a look at next. Grand Eagle Eye, uh, he can gain Deadly, and when he gains Eagle Eye, he also gains Advantage for one turn. So, um, uh, this one does say one turn, but uh, Advantage only lasts for one attack, also a basic. And now we're going to take a look at why I say this squad that I've been focusing on will be good. And that is because during stealth, 60% chance to assist each time a Gondor or a Ranger ally attacks an enemy with a Bane. So honestly, if we were to have a phase that uh, with the Balrog, then you would use Ranger's Ambush. It's a free turn cooldown. It's not very long and he is kind of fast and you do inflict and you inflict a slow. And you basically uh, do this to make sure that you stealth and you gain the um, the Bane on him. And then hopefully somehow you can get a Bane down and then actually you just do the passive here. And every single turn when it's at uh, max level, he will assist. He has Eagle Eye. So he just ping, ping, ping. No problem. And you can keep getting stealth on him. Here, you can also gain stealth this way. Again, that's great. You can gain stealth from uh, Boromir, I believe, even. And uh, then a Thor can also grant assist as well. So overall, it's uh, I feel my squad will do really well. That is what I have been... Like, yes, I do need to level 2 leader abilities, but I have the materials for it. So, as you can see, my Denethor is coming along very nicely. I finished his basic. I'm working on this now. That should be here tomorrow with the Wanderer's abilities, I believe. Otherwise, it will be here probably tomorrow either way. And then I can do level 6 Friday or something like that. Uh, unbreakable. Quite nice. Uh, for some reason, they did say Unbreakable would be needed. So, yeah, that's also going to be great. And there's some region and there's some focus, stun even, you know, boons, dispelling. Overall, I feel the squad will do really, really well. And then the thing is, you do have the immunity that you can work with instead. Character cannot receive banes, but I feel the eagle eye is more needed. So my squad that I'm focusing on, yeah, I will definitely, when Denethor and Faramir are finished, I will do Boromir passive, maybe a little bit of Miri. Uh, like, I'll work out the Defined Prince, but basically I will make sure I level up the um, abilities for, um, what is he called? Halberad, honestly. And, yeah, that's honestly what we need. So if we do um, cleanse, um, uh, uh, I actually, I can't find them. Let's uh, let's do here. Uh, let's go to Road to Rivendell. Those are the ones that I want to talk about. Like Owen, she has some immunity. She has cleansing. She's fast there. Um, let's go to Piven. I don't know if he has anything here. Nope, nothing here. Uh, here, on turn, always cleanse one bane. So uh, that could be good. We don't uh, we don't know all the fine prints yet, but Pippin should be good. So if you are building Road to Rivendell, that should help you. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Mary. Always grant immunity when they drop uh, um, when Pippin drop below, and there are some stamina here that you can work with. So I always think overall Rangers. Um, Road to Rivendell will actually be really good. And I'm really looking forward to the more uh, info that we can get on this. And overall, I'm just very happy that from the looks of it, what I have decided to build will actually be good with my Gondor Ranger squad. Like, I'm not going full Gondor because I don't feel it is the best thing for all four chapters. What I have landed upon, I feel is way better. And from the looks of it, seems to be working. So... Now we know a little bit about what we can prepare for and we will be looking forward to the deep dive and until then, best of luck in your raids and also in your shard hunting. See you then.